welcome to acrylic code today i'll show you how i did this easy animation in touch designer i will first give a short overview and then we'll do the whole animation from scratch so the main idea is we're going to create a simple line pass it to chop so we're able to deform the y-axis to get a noisy line Next, we will render it to the tops and pass it to the feedback loop to get some motion blur and make it look like unlimited lines that are going to infinity. So let's start from scratch. I already opened a new project and already split the window and activated the top viewer. Now let's create here an out and turn on the display. And I also did right click here on the left screen and disable the backdrop tops. Next, what we need is a line, so let us create a line SOP. Let's put the number of points to 600 and set point A to minus 6 and point B to 6, so that the line stretches horizontally through the whole screen. Let's attach a null here and convert the line SOP to CHOP. The reason why I do this is that because I want to make later transformations to the line which are easier for me to make while in chop. Let's attach here another null and convert the whole thing back to sops. Why I do this is because we need a sop for later when we render the geometry. So let's go ahead and attach the geometry. Hold shift to attach both the camera and the lights and next create a render top and connect it to the out. Right here we receive a warning that the material is missing, so to fix this let's create a constant material and drag and drop it to the geometry. The warning is gone and now we can see our line. To get a black background let's create here a transform and directly change the alpha parameter to 1 and turn on comp over background color. Our next step is to animate the line in the y direction. So let's create a noise down here, go to channel and change the channel name to ty because this is what we're replacing. So let's add a replace in here and if we go back here to the line what we're exactly replacing is the y-axis of the line, where we see now the value is zero with the noise. So we're going to replace it with a noise. So let's connect the noise to the re replace and now we have our distorted line. So that was it and now let's start with the more fun part. Let's make a little more space in here and let's click here and hold down shift to, a to add a feedback a transform and a composite at the same time. Click on the composite and set the operation to add. Connect here the transform to the out. Now we don't see nothing yet, so let's uh, drag and drop the composite to the feedback so it automatically sets the target top as composite and then go to the transform and let's downscale it. Let's go to the translate next and let's change the y direction value until it uh, has an effect that we like. Let's go back to the noise and add a math. Go to multi add and set the pre add to minus 0.5. To animate the noise, let's go to transform. Set the y in translate to apps time dot seconds time times 10. And there we go. We have now a flying carpet to infinity. So, all aboard and let's go watch our other video where we played around with the values and the colors and edit some chill electronic music to go with it. See you there! Bye bye!